Have you ever wondered why the Arctic sea ice is decreasing while Antarctic sea ice is not? Welcome to the world of the ice paradox, a curious phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for years. Imagine the top and bottom of our world, two polar regions, the Arctic and the Antarctic. One might assume, given they're both at the extreme ends of our globe, they'd behave similarly, right? Well, not quite. In the Arctic, we're witnessing sea ice levels diminish at an alarming rate. Meanwhile, the Antarctic's sea ice levels seem to hold their ground, remaining relatively stable. It's a stark contrast that raises eyebrows and prompts questions. But why is this happening? What's causing the Arctic to lose its icy armor while the Antarctic maintains its frosty shield? These questions beckon us into a fascinating world of scientific exploration. So grab your virtual parka and prepare for a chilly adventure. Stay tuned to learn about the fascinating scientific reasons behind this ice paradox. Let's start with the Arctic, where the loss of sea ice is a well-documented and concerning phenomenon. Imagine a pristine landscape of endless ice, an icy kingdom that has been standing solid for millennia. Now this icy fortress is under siege, but not by any physical army. Rather, it's a silent, relentless force that's causing the Arctic's icy realm to crumble. Global warming. Global warming, driven primarily by human activities, is causing the planet's average temperature to rise. This increase in temperature is particularly pronounced in the Arctic, causing the ice to melt faster than it can be replenished. And as the ice melts, it reveals the darker ocean surface beneath. This is where another key player enters our story, the albedo effect. The term albedo refers to the amount of sunlight that a surface reflects back into space. Ice, being white, has a high albedo and reflects most of the sun's rays back into space, keeping the Arctic cool. But as the ice melts and reveals the darker ocean surface, the albedo decreases. The ocean absorbs more of the sun's heat, which in turn causes more ice to melt, setting off a relentless cycle. This vicious cycle, driven by global warming and the albedo effect, is causing the rapid decrease in Arctic sea ice. It's a dilemma that's not just affecting the Arctic's wildlife and indigenous communities, but the entire planet as well. Now let's move on to the Antarctic, where the sea ice levels are not decreasing as one might expect. It's a fascinating scenario, as the Antarctic's sea ice stability is a result of a unique blend of factors. Firstly, the Antarctic is cradled by robust circumpolar winds that perform a rather intriguing dance. They whirl around the continent, pushing the sea ice outward and spreading it over a larger area. This process in turn leads to the formation of more ice as the exposed ocean water freezes. Secondly, the Antarctic's topography plays a significant role in maintaining its sea ice levels. Its high and steep ice shelves isolate it from warm air and water currents that could otherwise melt the sea ice. This geographical isolation acts like a protective shell, preserving the Antarctic's icy conditions. Lastly, an interesting phenomenon is at play. The melting of the Antarctic ice sheet, while sounding like a threat, actually contributes to the stability of the sea ice. As the ice sheet melts, it adds fresh water to the ocean surface. Fresh water being less dense than salt water stays on the surface and freezes more easily, hence lowering the surface temperature and promoting ice formation. These unique conditions in the Antarctic help maintain its sea ice levels, despite the overall trend of global warming. So, we now know why the Arctic and Antarctic are responding differently to global warming. The Arctic, a shallow ocean surrounded by land, absorbs solar heat rapidly. The dark open waters left behind by melting ice absorb more sunlight, causing a feedback loop that accelerates melting. This phenomenon, known as the ice albedo feedback, is largely responsible for the drastic reduction in Arctic sea ice. On the flip side, Antarctica, a continent surrounded by ocean, is insulated by circumpolar currents that keep warm waters at bay. Its sea ice is also influenced by wind patterns, with stronger winds pushing ice out to sea, creating open water areas that refreeze. These contrasting mechanisms underline the complexity of our climate system and the paradox of polar ice trends. Understanding these processes is crucial for predicting future changes in our climate and for taking effective steps to mitigate the impacts of global warming.